So it's me, your little boy, is something. You know, they are suffering because you are no longer what suffering. Yes, let me tell you. You know, there are a lot of people who believe that you will only suffer for the rest of your life. Yes, maybe because of the evil they did, because of what they are plotting, because of what they are doing, and they believe that that will cost you pain for the rest of your life. That will cost you disaster for the rest of your life. And now, they are suffering deeply because it backfired them. It turned, the table turned around. Because not every head you can plot evil against and succeed. No, this is what I always tell people. Be careful whom you plot evil on. Be careful whom you try to as, uh, you know, as, assassinate. Because you have no idea the kind God they are serving. Because when I mean the kind God they are serving, is that there are people whom God don't joke with. There are people who God, it, it, their life is just like the eyes of God. Because the kind of faith they have is what God used to monitor and figure. That is why he said to, to, he said to them, this is my beloved with whom I am well, what I am well pleased. So there are people whom God don't joke with. So these people can they, 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 they can just be in your midst and you will not know them. You won't be able to identify them. Because sometimes God allows them to go through the worst before the door is open. Sometimes God will just allow them to go through some certain word dangers that will make them become so strong like a word like an asshole rock like a mountain that is why you need to understand that majority of people who were hoping that you will keep suffering either because of their accent or either because of the fact that they refuse to support you or either because of the evil they plotted now they are suffering because it backfired them now they are in pain because what they were hoping that you will go through is exactly what they themselves are going through what they were hoping that you will pass through is now what they themselves are going through and this is why they are accurately filled with so much what anger this is why they are accurately filled with so much what pain because they have not fully come to understand that what god cannot do does not exist so may majority of people around you are deeply what suffering they are deeply in pain they are deeply regretting all that they have done their mindset was never to see what they are saying right now their expectation was never to see what they are saying right now so it is something that is hurting them too much it is something that is making life unbearable for these haters because the table turned back against them. They were so filled with gladness. They were so filled with happiness. Because their thought was that you will suffer as long as they live. Now what they were hoping that will keep you suffering have now turned against them. What they thought and they believe that will keep you down that will make life unbearable for you, that will make things become tough and worse for you, have now ended up fighting them. Now they have not become the nightmare against themselves. Their own evil have now become a nightmare to them. The evil that they plotted, hoping that will destroy you, is now something that is fighting them. It's not something that is frustrating them. It's not something that is making life unbearable for them. They have now become the weapon that formed against themselves. 
<laughs> because they plotted evil against the wrong person. Table have done. They have now end up become the weapon that formed against their own self. Because they thought they can form weapon against you. They thought they can form an enchantment against you. That is what Haman did. That is what Jezebel did. That is what King Saul did. Even Pharaoh did. But it turned against them. So that is why you need to understand that you are God sent. Whoever that taught you is digging their own grave. Whoever that messed up with you is digging their own grave. Because touching you will be the greatest mistake that they ought not to make. Remember, blessed me, God blessed you.